It's going to be a very good day. Begin right there. Do you think it's possible, no matter where you are standing or what environment surrounds you, that you could choose from whatever that localized buffet of life is, that you could choose in the vortex content no matter what? Well, then you know what source knows. So you are not needing a feathered nest in order to be vibrationally attuned to who you really are. Is that what you're saying to us? Yes. Do you like a feathered nest? Yes. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? I really like this feathered nest that weakens my ability to focus no matter what. It was a trap. <laughs> so what deliberate creating is really about is about being aware of where you stand at all times, isn't it? And always reaching for the best that you can find where you are. And what you begin to develop are thought muscles, so to speak, thought muscles that are really provided by the powerful law of attraction, because where you have been thinking is what is surrounding you. So here's another question for you. Would it be possible for you if you'd practiced your way deliberately for quite a while into the vortex, into the vortex, would it really be possible for you to be in a situation where you are surrounded by a lot of life experience that is not in keeping with what's in your vortex? Is that even possible? If you tune yourself consistently to well-being, will you constantly be challenged by unwanted things? And so it's interesting. You feather your nest by not needing a nest to be feathered. In other words, the way you provide a, a chronic environment that is really pleasing, where you just parlay it into higher and higher experiences of well-being and interest and satisfaction and fulfillment the way you do that is by not needing your environment to be any special way in order to feel good but by practicing feeling good no matter what practice feeling good when the environment is pleasing practice feeling good when the environment isn't pleasing but now here is the most important question of all if you are practicing feeling good when an environment isn't pleasing. Is there effort involved in that? Yes, there is, isn't there? Because you're surrounded by unwanted things. So you're focusing deliberately on more wanted things, even though there are unwanted things there, there is more effort in that endeavor, isn't there? Do you think that's what this art of allowing gathering is teaching you? Is it about efforting? It would seem so to some who are sort of monitoring what they are saying or monitoring what you are saying. Have you met any of those law of attraction police out there who are? <laughs> who are watching your words and watching their words and pouncing on you if you should deviate from their version of what law of attraction is. But what we're wanting you to realize is there's efforting in all of that, isn't there? In other words, standing outside of what you want, standing outside of what you want, determined that you're going to focus in a better way, it takes effort and we do recommend it. It's better than sloppily just going with whatever uh, crowd is around you. But the reason that we're playing with you in this distinct way is because when you are in the vortex, does it require effort to stay there or as much effort to stay there? In other words, so if your quest is for ease, then your quest is for alignment or allowing. And if that really is what you are going for, if you have lowered the barricades from yourself, if you have set yourself free in the sense that you're not monitoring yourself, you're not beating up on yourself, you're not so diligent and efforting so hard to make sure that each and every step or thought or word is the right one, but instead you have this soft flowing, free, good feeling of knowing the ease of well-being. Yesterday, Esther found herself feeling 
exaggerated well-being. It was like everything in the universe was just in a position of waiting for no other reason than to please her. She thought the universe does revolve around me. We want you to adapt to a, not a lazy world because you are ambitious, brilliant creators, but to a calm world, to a world of ease and flow, to a world where the laws of the universe do the work and you accept as your work alignment with the currents. Alignment with the currents of well-being. Alignment with the currents of creation. Alignment with the currents of the vortex that you have tactfully created. Alignment with who you really are. Alignment. So that you move through this life experience somewhere in the vicinity of satisfaction and exhilaration in that range. And as you decide that the majority of your efforting will be effort of appreciation. Those words don't even go together, do they? I'm going to make an effort to appreciate. Well, then you're not in the vortex, and it's not likely you're going to be appreciating much. But when you're in the vortex, appreciation just comes naturally, doesn't it, if you will allow it. So what we're really saying to you, you now know who you really are. You now are tuned to the energy of your vortex. You now have the ability to keep it going in that way. You now have the ability to feel when you deviate, you can feel when you align, you can feel when you resist. And so now it's smooth sailing for you forevermore. You never have to go back to that efforting, to that struggle. You never have to go back to that justifying and rationalizing and defending. You are powerful creators who have significantly and sufficiently enough aligned with enough time with the vortex of your creation. You now know what it feels like to be in alignment with who you are. And so now, from this day forward, the effort that you offer, effort isn't even the right word, the focus that you offer is focus toward more, toward more alignment, toward more appreciation, toward more words of positive aspects, towards more recognition of those who are co-creating with you, toward more appreciation of each and everything that surrounds you. Appreciation from what you know now and from who you now are is the key, the basis, the, the nucleus of that which you are. And as you align with it, those who are watching you are going to begin to notice extra, extraordinary, 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 extraordinary. Sometimes words just please us so much. <laughs> extraordinary in other words there is no ordinary in the vortex it's all extraordinary it's interesting because when you're in the middle of contrast it because it's vivid and because it's close and because it's real and because sometimes other people see it 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 is not the easiest thing to take your attention from it and so your question is how can I ignore something that is happening and think about something that I would prefer and the answer is just practicing and so getting into the vortex or getting into alignment with who you really are is you don't do it all at once but you understand that it is a possible thing to do in other words you understand that that there is some place that you want to be that you currently are not and you don't freak out you don't turn around and run in the other direction you don't have a meltdown instead you just focus and you expect good things and you expect a path to open and as you do the resources you see where what you want where you're really going is a vibrational match to who you are what you want and where you're going is a vibrational match to where you are. And so it, it, to who you really are and to all that you want. And so if you, if you stand in a place of knowing that, this is the same thing. When you are standing in contrast of something not wanted, you just do your best to activate as little of that as possible by, 
by releasing your thoughts about it, by not talking about it, by not blogging about it, by not sending emails. Don't struggle within it. Don't try to relate to others. Don't try to get others to understand how you feel. Don't try to defend your position or don't even try to explain your position and don't take pictures of your position. Don't document your position. <laughs> And, and do your best to avoid the people who want to do that with you. In other words, remove yourself from, from the conversations that are easy and, and, and watch for the floodgates to open. Just relax and you don't panic because it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then off you go, sailing right off into the sunset, right where you want to be. The reason that we're putting it to you in that way is because what happens in that process of relaxing and releasing resistance and getting in that state of allowing is that the energy begins moving, but it's just the first steps of being inside the vortex. And so what happens is as, as you get less specific and more general, now you're moving into the vortex. But when you first move into the vortex, you're still rather general. Now, when you are consistently moving deliberately by whatever process you're, you're, that floats your boat, as you're moving into this, into this vortex, and now you are getting more and more specific, that's where the passion begins to come. In other words, the more you're in the vortex, the more you are cooperative component, the more you are cooperative component, the more you begin to see, the more you begin to see, the more definitive you become, the more definitive you become, the more specific you become, the more exact you become, the more exhilarated you become. In other words, there, there is so much more that is coming. Once you establish yourself, once you've shown yourself that you can do that without distraction on a really regular basis, now you're ready. Now you're ready for some deliberate focus wheels from inside the vortex or, or anything that causes you to focus. We, we encourage affirming from inside the vortex. You take a deck of, these are affirmation cards and this particular one is about money, attracting money. If you're in the vortex, I can see my world through the eyes of source. That's really an uplifting. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I all really feel, really feel good. You mean I can feel better? I can feel better than relaxed. I can feel better than relaxed. What feels better than relaxed? Happier, excited, enthusiastic, passionate about something. Now you might not always say that, but we think, wouldn't you say, wouldn't you rather be passionate than relaxed? Wouldn't you rather be relaxed than overwhelmed? You'd much rather be relaxed than overwhelmed, but you would, wouldn't you rather be passionately in love than just lightly amused? And so the more you affirm, the better my story gets, the better my life gets. Don't you want to start telling a more emphatic story, a more detailed story? And when you do that from inside the vortex, that's when you get it goosed up. And so so far, mostly what we've been doing is leading you out of the abyss of out of the vortex into the vortex. And now what you're saying is, now what? I'm relaxed, but is that all there is? I want something more than relaxed. I'd like to be passionate. And we say, two things are necessary. Stick around in the vortex on a really regular basis. In other words, con confirm that you're there and milk it. Now, what does milking it mean? Milking it means get more specific, spend more time in it. When you're in the vortex, call someone else that you know that's, who's in the vortex too. Do some masterminding, do some co-creating. Nothing is more exhilarating than to get it together with others and affirm your well-being from inside the vortex. There are so many things in the vortex that are exhilarating beyond destruction. Description. Once you move yourself into that place of well-being and then you begin becoming more specific, think, focus, and, and enjoy. We were talking about the idea of deconstructing the negative thought. The process in really simple terms is deconstruct the negative thought by going general. And once you're sure you're stable, then reconstruct the positive thought. If it feels like effort in the reconstruction of positive thought, just relax and say things. If you say something like, I'm really in a good place. I'm in the right place at the right time. All is well. There's nothing for you to do. There's nothing that you're supposed to do. No right or wrong. Be as specific as you can be about what you want from where you are.